It's about an alliance, uh, quite an unlikely alliance between um, uh, the gay community, a, 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 a London-based gay and lesbian support group, um, and the striking miners in the UK, and they kind of form this bond and, and um, in, a, in an effort of solidarity. So yeah. What was really extraordinary was the, um, the sort of willful hatred uh, 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 expressed in the media, the tabloid media particularly, at the time for, uh, against gay people and against the mining community as well. Um, so what was really shocking for all of us, particularly I think for the younger members of the, of the company, was, um, was that was allowed to be expressed in, in the day. And uh, so just to be able to read, um, I think they called gay people the slime of, of society or some horrible thing like that, which thank, thank uh, everything is not acceptable anymore. So um, just to uh, create that, to, to, um, to read uh, some of those tabloids and to be able to see photocopies of, of some of the things that were said was almost um, the most uh, uh, helpful thing to, to, to help us uh, um, uh, see what the climate was like at the time. Matthew is from a theatre background, so uh, it was helpful in terms of approaching the, you know, the scenes that we were doing. He, he, Matthew understands actors, and, um, and so does Stephen, who's, who has written the script, Stephen Berfus. He, he was an actor before, so... Um, but, you know, Matthew, Matthew is very soft-spoken, and, and, and he knows what he wants, and, you know, he gives you that freedom to try stuff out, but also because it was a story in which, you know, we were all kind of aiming for the same thing and the same kind of, you know, we need to do this story justice. That's that's what was the main thing about about this and about Matthew and Stephen being being there all the time, you know. So yeah. What was unusual about the film, I think, was that there was a, l a large amount of scenes where there were maybe f twelve to fifteen people in the in the scene at the same time, which actually in a film is very unusual to have. So he's got a great uh, stage eye, so he was able to sort of block us essentially, and uh, and because we were um, shooting under certain economic uh, restrictions, we weren't able to have a, a close up for every member of the of the cast so uh, there were it was quite guerrilla filmmaking trying to find the story and he was really brilliant at that and so we were always sort of on and uh, always sort of alive and uh, uh, it was very very nice actually to be able to work on mass between we always say it's like a romantic comedy between two groups of people rather than between two individuals this mm -hmm. story so uh, yeah it was he, he's brilliant Matthew wonderful wonderful man when I read the script it was one of the best scripts I've ever read. It made me laugh from start to finish. It was funny throughout. Good scripts are rare and funny scripts are rarer. And I was very, very keen to be in it. And also the miners' strike was largely misrepresented. It was a civil war and the government assaulted these communities and, they, and they, they've, they've never recovered. And, uh, and you got very little sense out of any of the newspapers at the time. It was, it was almost entirely misreported. So to have a film that treats those, uh, those decent working men and women of the mining community with dignity and respect is long overdue and deeply refreshing. So I was on, on a couple of levels, I was, I, was, I was kind of averagely desperate to be in it. I, <laughs> done, I really would have done anything, apart from the fact that it was funny. You know, it's just really, really, I have to say this eight times. I, these, are, these are grim themes, but, this, but Stephen Beresford, who's written it, has done a, a miraculous thing. He's packaged it in a deeply entertaining way. So, and it's, it's, a, it's very, very funny, and it will, un, it will almost certainly make you cry. So you get your money's worth. <laughs> like Andrew said, we were operating under certain economic restrictions. Um, so we all really kind of were in fifth gear the whole time. And, um, but it kept everyone on their toes and it meant so much to us to give everything we had to telling this story that um, it was a real buzz on set. You could really yeah, kind of feel it, you know? Everybody knew why they were there. Everybody, there was yeah. no, there was no, compli it wasn't complicated. Everybody knew the script was something really, really rare and special and that we were there for good purpose, or, you know, and everyone was, there was no ambiguity, you know, Every, and we had a ball. It was one of the, I mean, this is not PR. It was one of the best jobs I ever had. And there was a bunch of younger people, obviously, who have never been in a movie before. They were excited for that reason. It, it was, the whole thing was deeply attractive to everyone involved. And we got along like a rocket. I know that sounds like PR, but it's actually true. <laughs> It is uh, we did. We had a, we, you know, and yeah. we still do. Uh, no, it was really, it was good fun and hard, but fun.